My name is Denise and I'm a physiotherapist at West Park Healthcare Centre. Welcome to my talk on stroke prevention. Today I'm going to talk to you about the risk factors for stroke. I will then go over the steps you can take to reduce the risk of a stroke and reduce the risk of another stroke if you've already had one. I will start by going over the warning signs of a stroke. It is crucial to recognize the signs of a stroke if it does happen, because the quicker you act to get medical help, the more that can be done to minimize the effects of the stroke. The warning signs of stroke include sudden weakness, numbness, or tingling in the face, arm, or leg, problems with speech, such as a sudden loss of ability to speak or ability to understand speech, sudden loss of vision, especially on one side, or double vision, sudden, severe, and unusual headache, and sudden dizziness, unsteadiness, or falls. If you or someone you know experience any of these warning signs, call 911. FAST is a tool using the first letter of each item to help remember the warning signs. Face, is it drooping? Arms, can you raise both? Speech, is it slurred or jumbled? If the answer to any of these questions is yes, then it's time to call 911 right away. It is important to act fast because the quicker you act, the more of the person you save. Now on to the risk factors for stroke. There are a number of things that increase your chances of having a stroke. Some of these are things you can change, and some of these are things that you have no control over. Let's first talk about the things that you can change or at least have an effect on. High blood pressure can increase your chances of having a stroke by four to six times. Diabetes increases your risk of a stroke by two to four times. High cholesterol causes plaque in your blood vessels and blocks blood flow. So it's important that all of these are well controlled. Smoking doubles your chances of having a stroke. Excessive alcohol use or recreational drug use, high stress levels, sleep apnea, and birth control pills all also increase your chances of having a stroke. There are some things that increase your chances of having a stroke that we have no control over. These things include family history, age. As you get older, the risk of having a stroke increases. Sex. Until women reach menopause, they have a lower risk of stroke compared to men. Ethnicity. First Nations and those of African or South Asian descent are more likely to have high blood pressure and diabetes, leading to a higher risk of stroke than the general population. Now let's talk about the steps you can take to reduce your chance of a stroke or another stroke if you have already had one. Get your blood pressure checked regularly. It should be below 130 over 80. Monitor your blood sugar levels. Ideally, they should be between four to eight. Maintain a healthy weight by eating right and being physically active. Decrease the stress in your life. Have regular medical checkups and follow the recommendations provided there. Stop smoking. Limit alcohol consumption and re-engage in your life. Take your medications as recommended as this lowers your risk of having another stroke. Even if you feel well, continue to take your medications. Medications may be prescribed for various purposes, including to prevent blood clots, to regulate heart rhythms such as atrial fibrillation, or to lower blood pressure or bad cholesterol. So do not stop taking your medications until you speak with your doctor. These have been general recommendations for reducing your risk of having a stroke. Specific recommendations will be provided to you by your family doctor 
or other primary health care provider. Thanks for listening.